<laughs> I hate to think how you spell accelerating. Size doesn't matter. That's actually pretty good as well. Is a rotor. That is what mine is missing. Get out of your system. <laughs> very, 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 very quick. Face on your mother could love. This thing. I know he drives this thing. Love a boosted Civic. <laughs> How do you think about the recession? Hello world, welcome back to Accelerate and welcome to Castle Coombe. Yeah, we're here at Spring Action Day today. Drew's got some track time booked, so yep. let's go and have a look around. Yeah, we'll have a look around, let's have a look around, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Before we get stuck into the video, I want to say Spring Action Day was a crazy day for us. The morning was spent prepping the MX-5 for track, sound testing, drivers briefing and so on. We then went to take a walk around the track to see what cars were on display, but the amount of times we were stopped by you guys, our supporters, was incredible. Now don't get me wrong, we are not complaining. We prioritised catching up with you guys over filming the day because as we always say, we wouldn't be here without you. With that in mind, we still didn't speak to a lot of the people we planned to, so if we didn't catch up with you, we do apologise, but we will definitely catch you at Summer Action Day. Back to the video, I did take the MX-5 on track and we will get to the footage shortly, but we only managed to take a look at around half the cars on display, so we know we missed a lot of cars and we are gutted, but please enjoy the video anyway. <laughs> they say size doesn't matter, I beg to differ. A big highlight of the day for me was when Kenny let us draw all over the bonnet of his new car. Except when I messed up the artwork. <laughs> I had to think I used to spell accelerating. <laughs> now you've got all these cameras on you. <laughs> Legend. Oh shit, she's doing it big as well. She's doing it. She's tagging it, man. Here we are, the Barry Bassett herself is tagging accelerating. <laughs> <laughs> Now. I will say right on camera, this doesn't give you the right to come and do it tomorrow, <laughs> right? No, it works one way, so. no, no. Two-way street. <laughs> That's actually pretty good as well, I hate to admit. This is my it's shoes. better than yours. Made, so we absolutely love attention to detail, so an RX-7 in itself is pretty special. I mean, this is a beautiful example of one. And one of my favourite things that Liam's just pointed out, the alternator pulley is a rotor. Oh, you'd have to see this in person, this thing is... Phenomenal. So Kenny's allowed me to feature one or two MX-5, so I thought I'd find a really good example, and this is definitely what we've got here. This makes me really sad. That is what mine is missing. Another awesome example of a Mark 1. Yeah, get out of your system. Get out of your system. <laughs> That's one. <laughs> very, 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 very quickly. This is another option for me. Gotta be quick, because Kenny is shouting at me. Awesome. Really good turnout today. Everywhere you look, there's just clean. Ah, just oh, look. <laughs> so much stuff here, isn't it? So many cars. This is why we love Castle Coombe. It's yeah. always such a variety. There's a paint job to make your eyes go funny. <laughs> it's fresh. <laughs> hey. Wow. <Sorry. laughs> That's a beast. That is huge. And what do we have over here? Not that guy. <laughs> this is the one and only. Face only a mother could love, but only Tom could love. <laughs> and me, because I absolutely adore this thing. This thing is cool as hell. Because he came off halfway through the session. He did say it break down, <laughs> in all he, fairness. He came off, did he? Yeah, yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. Tom, we'll have a catch up with you. But for those that don't know, this is Tom's Frank and Savvy. He has got a YouTube channel, Working Class GTR. All of this is literally homemade in his garden. Massive cross. Now, this has come out better than I thought it would. I knew it was going to be crazy, but... You've really taken it to the next level, man. Fair play. It's insane, isn't it? Yep. And you want to see the weight he's cut out of it. Oh, he's cut yeah, all the door he's, liners. Yeah, he's honestly, just cut everything yeah, go and check it out because he's, he's put a lot of work into that. This is probably one of the coolest Mark 5s I have ever seen. Danny B. I love. Oh, yeah. I was going to say, oh, you know him, do you? <laughs> I love the old Texaco livery. I mean, that's just cool. It is pretty cool, isn't it? We had to take a visit to Driven Alliance. They stand, they got a really good spot in fairness. And as usual, their stand is looking phenomenal. I'm always drawn to this. Gav's purple scooby. This is one of the best shades of purple I think I've ever seen. And I don't know how he keeps it so clean because I know he drives this thing. And of course, Zoe's Clio track car and this thing. 
the PS there was a this is what makes this car fair play so this is really making me I've always wanted one of these but yours is really really pushing me to get one love a boosted Civic <laughs> especially a boosted that's why I said boosted, but... I thought you said I love a boosted Civic and a boosted one. I found the perfect car for you. I'm not sure whether you'll fit in it. I was going to say, I struggle again, the MX-5. That is cool. I love how it's like stance parked as well. Dude, check out that CRV or whatever it is. It's got a Type R seat in it. Ooh. And someone sat in the back. He's been in a while. Must have been waiting for the This guy's been waiting for my MX-5 to be finished. Hey, how do you think about the recession? Look what else has gone in there. Now oh, these seats look really good in a 107. <laughs> oh wow! I'm assuming this is a key. I mean, key swap the world. Anything with a key. Oh wow! Oh wow! Oh wow! I love cars like this. If we swap Kenny, respect. It'd just be any. Jesus Christ! Nice. You're the diff. I see. Well, the diff, yo. Durka durka. <laughs> oh, over that a soft spot for the Saliga. I did want to buy one of these as a track car. I just want to say that is cool as hell. I sent. I actually sent you one. Did you? Yeah. That's probably one of the messages. Like, yeah, probably something else we've got. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Always good for a show. <laughs> I'm sure I saw an Audi around here somewhere. <laughs> oh, there it is. And it's high vis coat. So Clio 172s and 182s seem to be the car of the moment because everyone seems to be buying them, obviously for good reasons. But this is another, well, this is Kieran's newly acquired to him. I think it's the first time he's properly driven it. Uh, he is taking it out on track. And, uh, yeah, you're going to be famous! Hey! <laughs> Now onto my track session. For those who've never been on track, as well as a driver's briefing, your car has to pass a strict sound test. As for the car itself, for those joining us for the first time, this is my UK 1.8 MX-5. It was supercharged, but for now she is completely NA. Modifications include 15x8 ultralight UL10 wheels wrapped in Nankang NS2R semi-slick tyres, Tain Advancy coilovers, the entire car has been polybushed along with competition engine mounts, TCAT exhaust and a very last minute induction kit. I also need to give a massive shout out to Sean at Auto Performance Garage for squeezing me in for a very last minute alignment that this car desperately needed. So you'll notice the first thing I did when I got out of the pits was move aside and let people pass me because from what I could see I really did have the slowest car on track but I wasn't going to let that ruin my fun. And you'll see later on that in the corners I was keeping up with cars that had way more power than me thanks to the amazing setup and the handling modifications done to the MX-5. I spent the first few laps getting some heat in the tyres, making sure all the fluids were up to temp and to be honest just getting a general feel for the car. And once I was happy with all this, I started to push it.
that was my first time on track with the MX-5 and it's naturally aspirated guys. I cannot believe a car with such little power can make you smile as much as this did. The main mod I need for the next track day is a bucket seat. Although me and Ben tried for hours to get my Magnum seat to fit, it wasn't having any of it. But I do have a Cobra Monaco Pro I'm going to try and fit in. Speaking of the next track day, Kenny and I have a session booked together. Yes, that's right, it's Civic vs MX-5 and yes, he has over double the power of the MX-5. The MX-5 would not be where it is now without the help of the people around us. There are way too many people to thank, but if you've been involved in any way, thank you so much. Especially to the people I left it last minute with, you guys always pull through for me. As I mentioned, Spring Action Day was incredibly busy for us, so apologies for the lack of quality in this video, but stay tuned as we have a lot more content coming your way. As always guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and we will see you in the next one.